Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Angelina. I'm excited to bring you guys this haul from China Square. In case you see my cats jumping up and down, please don't mind them. <laughs> I don't want to lock them out. That's because I'm doing this video. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do a China Square haul. I'm going to get right into it. So I went to China Square. They reopened on Monday. Today is Friday when I'm shooting this. I went on Wednesday. So the thing that I would say about China Square is that it's a combination of um, House of Leather, the things that you can get in House of Leather, a bit of Kamkunji with the utensils and stuff, actually a lot of Kamkunji, uh, builders in Karen, if you've been there, so a bit of like the construction stuff, the drills, the painters uh, section, and a lot of those, you know, household DIY things that you need, you know, to build and stuff and a lot of home home like home things you know things that you'd use in your house so like mosquito nets um what else did i see i saw so much of course it's like this whole carpet section which is insane i think that was my favorite section in the whole of china square uh what else is that so just a combination of most of these stores that we have all over the, uh, the city or the country but now you can get them all under one roof so that for me was the biggest selling point here was that i was able to walk into one store and get everything that I would need, you know, in my house, in one place, including furniture. That's absolutely insane. And the prices, so the prices, this is going to be like a bit controversial, but for me, the prices weren't that different, but that's because I knew the, like I used to, you know, hang around the Kamkunjis and the, which other places, I guess. They've covered a lot of Kamkunji and they're competitively priced with Kamkunji. Uh, what else? Yeah, just that basically the prices are relative some things are more pricey than you would get them at and some things are definitely a lot more expensive. I actually um, Used to run a light fixtures business and I can tell you for sure how many to like amount of business <laughs> Just because they exist. Of course, you can get the exact same pieces like what I have but Someone will easily come to me and be like, but he knows what 20k um, China Square, no one I use here 30 or something you know so they're definitely coming for our pockets which is fine for me i don't mind i think it's just find a way around it <laughs> you know maybe do more marketing for your products yeah, yeah, yeah so anyway that is besides the point it's just like the lowdown on what i think about china square so i'm going to take you guys through all these items that i got this is a total of eight thousand kenyan shillings do i want to say only <laughs> This is a total of 8,000. 8,000 could be a lot or a little, it's relative, but you guys will be able to judge if it's an 8,000 that's well spent or if this is just all hype, is what we're getting at China Square. So let's begin. This is the bag. The bags are really nice. I like the size of their bags, they're huge. So you can definitely buy a lot. So to begin with, I'm going to start with the bigger things and go to all, work my way down to the smaller ones. So, first of all, the pan section at china square yeah everything was almost sold out but there was like 10 pans in total by the time we were getting there so kenyans said we have one pans before i could like i i need this one and this one there's this one for four thousand i hope i can insert it here but if i can't I'm sorry there's this one it's so cute it was green with a little bit of rose gold then for four thousand it was sold out there were literally two pieces remaining so you are able to get this one at um, at fifteen hundred. I like the quality. Sorry, let me just get the receipt so I can give you the exact exact prices and not be doing a lot of work. Okay, so this is the pan 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 cooking pot, fifteen forty. So this is exactly one thousand five hundred and forty, and it's pretty good quality. But you can see this maybe at the bottom. There were cheaper ones, I guess, for 1200 I might be wrong, but this was definitely the best of what was remaining. So I got this one. That's one. First item. Two, we got this uh, dish for my grandma when she's going to hospital. She sometimes spends the whole day at hospitals, at the hospital doing her checkup. So, checkups. <laughs> so we wanted to buy something that she can have carry her food this one should have been around 700 this one was not cheap when it was like hmm. but it looks like it has some um, whatever inside 
it looks like a pot pot is what I'm saying. This was around 700. Oh, unfortunately, some of the prices have uh, been washed out with, I think, some liquids that were in here. But this was 700 anyway. This was around 700, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't find the price. But this was 700, so this is item two. Don't to unwrap it. No, I don't need to ask you. All right, uh, the other thing that we got is this one. Yes, baby, let's go down. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, my cat wants to go up there. Let me come. Baby, come. 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 Koja. Jesus. Okay. Come, baby. Come. Hey. Hey, it's not. It's not. I was upset. I want to put you up there. So you want to go up there. There you go. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. I am. Next was this diffuser. I've really been seeing this all over the internet. I'm so excited to have one because you can see, as you can see, I have two cars. My house gets a little bit um, funky. So I prefer to use something that's a bit more subtle as opposed to constantly doing the air freshener thing. So I got this diffuser. This was 2200 I don't really need to look. Uh, it comes with a charger and it comes with this uh, covering and then inside it is where we have the diffuser so there's a, lo a lot of options that you can go for I specifically went for this one because I liked the fact that it has this timer thing so you can you can turn it on leave it on for one hour three hours or six hours this is the only type that had this as far as what I found on that day. So you open it up, this is where you pour the water, and it also came with, uh, <laughs> my God, okay. just let you do your thing. Uh, it came with, uh, sorry, it didn't come with the drops, so you have to buy the droplets of essential oil. Let me grab that real quick. It's right here on back. It's here. So this one was the essential oil I got. I got this one. This is Garden in the Rain. I love how this smells. Oh, ah. Oh, this smells so good. So there's many varieties. There's like five or something of this little kind. And oh my God, all of them are smell. <laughs> Sorry, the camera went off. Um, so I was saying, I spent a really long time trying to decide on which one to buy. They had a variety of this. This was the one that smelled the best to me, but I was really torn between this one and there was something like peach, was it peach or pear? Something with pear, freesia and pear, something like that. That also smelled really good. So if, you were, if you're going to go check out uh, that one, you might be torn. But this one, 100%, this is garden in the rain. Please focus, I hope it does. <laughs> so you can see, so these little bottles were 150. The 20 ml one was 150 there's a 10 ml one for 130 so of course this one made more sense to get so this was the second thing i got uh yes <laughs> so there's that i've lost my train of thought because my camera went off next i got these items so these are paint brushes let me tell you guys the paint section in this place like the handwork let me not say just paint but the hand, you know, like the construction or like DIY home thing section there is lit. There are so many things there. So first of all, there's this uh, paintbrush. This is not mine. Again, I got this for someone. This was 330 for this size and 150 for this size. So it's basically half, <laughs> half the size, half the price. Uh, these ones I really like like they imagine they feel like good they even look like good quality you can see like they've brought us better brushes than the small ones that we normally find with just wood and the bristles and the bristles here are really soft like they feel like my actual makeup brushes they're that soft so the person that wanted this wanted them to just help clean up like equipment or like dusty um, spaces in his studio so this will definitely come in handy for that so it's not only you know like the construction section that you'd be able to deal with but there was so much just go check this out for yourself so these two 
are the next items and then the other things I got for the same person that needed those brushes is uh, this cable ties let me look for this one more packet this cable ties so these are for tying your cables basically if you have like wires lying around you can use this to help neaten up your space this was so cheap <laughs> like literally that cheap this packet here is 40 shillings these are 100 cable ties each pack has 100 cable ties it's for only 40 shillings i don't know what they were going for before in maybe like the the builder store and karen I, I really don't know so i can't really compare but i think they were relatively very cheap and this person the person i got this for told me that before they used to get them for like a pack like this would be 300 bob none of these are 300 bob this is 40 shillings <laughs> this is uh 70 shillings and this is 90 shillings so the price was up of course with the size so this longest one was 90 shillings and there are 100 uh, pieces so this is definitely a steal go grab this for yourself and knit it up your spaces with the wires and stuff is there any other use that you can use this for? Yeah, you can use this to tie up anything. Anything you want to tie up, just get these cable ties. So that's that. The other items were... Oh, I wanted to finish up with the scent section before I moved on, but here we are. I forgot. <laughs> so this we also got from the scent section. Let me tell you guys, that aroma, diffuser, whatever section of that whole place is really so good. Like, there's so much. There's so much that you can get. It's becoming dark, so let me just put on the light. There's really so much that you can get. I spent hours smelling every single diffuser in that place. They need coffee beans, by the way. China Square High, you need coffee beans over there because, yeah, just to help cleanse the whatever as you go. But yeah, this one, this sachet is the rose. Mm -mm -mm. Let me tell you guys, this smells so good. Ah, <laughs> like just moving it around. Ooh, it smells amazing. This is perfect for your car, for your wardrobes, for your vacuum. You can pour this in your vacuum cleaner and have it like spread the scent. They've actually written over here where you can use it in your drawers, in your, uh, and just like spaces around your house to make it smell amazing. And this actually does smell amazing. These packets were only 100 bob each. So that's definitely a steal. Uh, I would recommend this one over this one because this one smells Okay, it depends if you're the type that likes the scent to be in your face and hit you go for this But if you're the type that wants like something more subtle something more muted, I would go for this because this is the more um, Quiet one it also smells really nice It smells Ooh, it smells amazing actually but again, this is like too, too reserved for me. I want it to be in my face, so I'd go for the other pair, uh, the other packet. But yeah, this is the one that we got. This was also 100 bob. The sachets were mostly 100 bob, so if you're looking for something cheaper, you can go for that. If you want something more pricey, go for the diffusers. Uh, not even that one. There's like price points in between, so you can get stuff for 800, 700. The regular diffusers with the little stems that, you know, just the ones like in a perfume bottle with the stems i know you guys know what i'm talking about so those ones were around seven to eight hundred depending on the one you wanted so the next thing that we got was this mosquito repellent thing right now me i'm really struggling with mosquitoes in my room <laughs> at night i am suffering so yeah we got this one this one was so cheap we actually got it because it was so cheap this was 290 shillings for this part 290 sahi in the market what you can get for 290 is normally the refill thing this one because i know that this sells for i don't know 600 or something like that depending of course on the brand but the motin ones are normally the most pricey and they come at around there as much as up or somewhere so we were excited to get this one at uh, 290 and the refill at 150 only like that is such a steal I don't know if they work yet. <laughs> Let's, I'm here to see if it's just uh, cheap for nothing. You know, if cheap is expensive in this case. But we're, I'll tell you guys. I'll update you maybe on my IG. Follow me on IG, then I'll let you guys know. Uh, so this is uh, the refill, 480 hours. Maybe that's also why they are cheaper. I don't know how long the other ones normally last for. But this is 480 hours. 290 150 we'll see how that goes 
Um, next, we have this Dr. Rachel, Dr. Rachel, Dr. Rachel, <laughs> um, moisturizer. There's a lot of Dr. Rachel products there, which I'm glad because I think now, it, since this is normally a Chinese brand, I'm hoping that this will actually be original Dr. Rachel. So this one specifically is a moisturizer. Let me tell you guys, if there's something that's normally so expensive to buy, it's moisturizing cream. They're normally so pricey, like the 8,000, 6,000. As far as, like, if you go to, like, a Linton's, you're like, eh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Why? But yeah, so we're excited to try this one out. It has hyaluronic acid, which is great for your skin. So let's see how this goes. Again, we'll update you. This is not even mine. Me personally, let me show you guys what I use from this particular brand. I use these face serums that I had seen they had at uh, a China Square. But by the time we got there, this was sold out. These specific ones were sold out, probably because people know they work, because this works. I bought this in uh, Dubois for 250 for the face serum. And also this was 250, this is the eye serum. This has helped me so much with my <laughs> I don't like to say to call things my like that. I do not claim the black spots on my face, but I had some black spots here and they were really, you know, like getting to me. So I needed a brightening cream and I tried this and it actually really has been helping me so much. 250 again in Dubois. Before China Square closed down, they were selling these things at 350 before they shut down for a bit, before that cup break they had taken. They were selling them at 200 and 350. So again, if you knew where to get them in Dubois for 250, then you weren't jumping up and down about, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying, like these things are relative. Some people might find China Square cheaper. Some may be like, yeah, no, <laughs> it's a scam. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if, if you didn't know, then now you know, because there's also places in town where they sell this at 800. Like actually right across the street from Dubois, they sell the same things at 800. So you need to walk around maybe and shop and see, you know, where you can get them the cheapest from. So this was Dubois, this has nothing to do with this. I just want to, to like point that out so you guys can know. The other thing I got was this, uh, excuse me, hi. <laughs> was this gift bags i'm excited for this this could never have come at a better time i needed this because i'm starting a lingerie business and how cute would it be if i just package those your products you guys' products in these bags as opposed to those regular 10 bob bags <laughs> that was going to be the original pound because there was no way i was going to spend 100 bob on just a bag to deliver something to someone you know because these gift bags are normally pricey so i was happy as hell to find that these ones are only going for 35 over a piece so this is the variety i bought i doubled up on some colors because why not and i really didn't want that there's some other plain ones there's some polka dot ones there's a large variety so out of course i could buy just go go see for yourself what you can get but i was very happy with this particular thing because again 35 shillings starting a business so it came in like perfect timing so yes these are eight these are the prints oops sorry let me pick that up so yeah these are the prints i got so this was nice nice little patches there and then the next thing we got were knives and fox Hizzy, the ones we had with the plastic handles had started by we, I mean my mom, actually these are not mine. I don't know what I'm talking about, I like these are mine, I think they're not. So these ones are uh, a set of six, they were going for 300 and something, like 330. So like I said, some of the some of the prices are rubbed off, this is one of them. So I can't tell you for sure how much this were, but they were definitely less than 350 for the six. And also the same... Uh, the same the same exact product like the pattern at the top is the same as this one wanted wanted to get a matching set so these were 520 for the six and let me tell you guys they are so heavy they are great quality like they're really heavy this like you see i know you can't see the weight but they're really heavy and i like that they have this groove at the top there so they're not just plain boring old knives so these were fun to to get so i don't know how this compare like competing price with Kampunji. I'm not so sure about the prices of knives and cutlery in Kampunji, though I know that is a go-to place for kitchen stuff. If you're looking for cheap, cheaper options, not cheap, but cheaper options as opposed to what you can get out there. So this was exciting to see. 
and to buy but let me know where is cheaper is it kamkunji or china square in terms of cutlery just for this particular product you guys let me know i personally have no idea so the other thing i got was this auxiliary cable for music uh this was only 100 shillings you guys <laughs> i don't know how much they go for normally but i don't see guys selling them for 100 even at luthuli i'm like hmm. anyway i really don't know so let me not <laughs> uh i speak on that on the price they're cheaper but it was great to just find them all there aligned with, like all types of cables were there for only a hundred like hdmis like so, there was such a variety of hdmi cables um these cables the other types with s3 rda and, and whatever the hell else i really don't know what i'm talking about in that section but yes there was a lot of cables and i was excited that um there was a variety like a variety of what do you call this like lengths like this one is three meters per hundred bob a variety of types yada 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 again i'm not going to speak on things i really do not know about but yeah so this one for music only 100 shillings the other thing i got oh, oh, let me try, cause this is this is the first thing i saw on tiktok that you know like before they shut down I saw this one too, it was like, finally, they brought this cross to me. Because these ones, I've been seeing them. Actually, they used to be pricey. I don't want to say like a thousand, but I think a thousand. I feel like they used to be sold for so much money. This was only 190 shillings. Like by IG vendors, they used to sell them like for a lot more than 190. So this, they brought themselves to us and we're getting them at 190 bob for the four. Yeah, so they come with a brush. Aki, by the way, I'm going to go and get too serious. Why were you selling these things at so bad? If this guy has brought them all the way from his country, put them in the store, put them on a shelf, and it came to 190. Come on now. Mm -mm. So anyway, this is uh, four stainless steel straws. I liked the iridescent uh, version. This is obviously what I would go for me. I use straws so much. I'm such a straw girl. Like I could almost let me back shop on your chai in a straw. Like it's that bad. So I was excited for this. And again at 190, I could even have taken like four packs, but since they are still, they'll never like has it Aisha. So unless I lose them, this are with me for the rest of time, which I love. So there was that. The next thing is this a very useless purchase because we are not even professional salonists and we bought these tips thinking that they are um, nails the nails that you can glue on so i don't know if these are just for the tips or just for the nails anyway this pack i mean just for the like the entire nail this pack was 130 shillings so many tips i guess maybe when we're going to the salon and we want to carry our own so we can get like a cheaper price and maybe we can use this these are not even mine uh my nails grow personally so i don't really need them but yeah maybe one day i'll use them i don't know how to use this 130 since i'm just showing you guys what we got some are using purchases like this one but yes so that is everything you guys that's everything we got for 8,000 bob it seems like very little now if i look at it i'm like 8,000 bob in now happy <laughs> but we have been living in this economy where we end up with the market now 2,000 bob and you live with a loaf of bread and milk like that's it it's no it's not even funny anymore money has become so um valueless so i mean again if you look at this you don't see eight thousand but I, we were able to get some very little essential things that we actually needed so now to give you like a download on china square please go to china square for yourself just go see go take it in go appreciate everything that you can find all under one roof the section that I would really recommend to like ignore everything else that's outside and go to China Square. Their mop and room section was really giving. Their trash cans, by the way, there's so much. Eh, now as I'm talking, I'm getting like visuals of what I saw, and there was so much, really like so many nice things. They refused us to vlog. My idea was to bring you guys the whole entire store because I wanted you guys to see where you can get all these things. But uh, unfortunately, they've stopped. They've stopped us from from vlogging anymore, which I think is not so smart because it's because of the vlogs we saw on the internet that we came to your store to begin with. So the more people come to your store and record, the more people will be exposed to what you guys are selling. So yeah, I'm supposed to call them back and find out if they've allowed us to vlog again. I did go with a camera, so maybe that is what left them like yikes. You know, like don't don't do that. 
when you go with your phone they don't really mind but then i don't know let me not speak on that because i'm not so sure i'll have to call them back and find out for sure if they allow me to vlog then i'll bring you guys the whole entire store so you guys can see the amazing things that are there in case you're not in nairobi you could be able to see um what the hype is about from a distance and then now when you make the trip here you know exactly where to go to get exactly um those things that are there so thank you guys for watching so very much subscribe to my channel we'll be doing again a lot of like where to get cheap things where to get this and that and blah 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 we'll be doing a lot of those type of videos so you definitely want to subscribe so i can give you the tea as to where you can get these things for cheap and yeah just daily vlogs we'll do so much this is just the beginning so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a little heart in the comments and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one bye